Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing the top 10 Kickstarters of the month. And before I get started, I do want to talk about my Kickstarter, Nightmare in Wonderland. It's about a queen version of Sleeping Beauty getting stuck in a nightmare version of Wonderland with an assassin, Alice. They used to be ex-lovers. It's a fun series, so go check it out. I do have a couple of honorable mentions slash friends who have Kickstarters. I'm going to talk about those before we get into the top 10, so let's jump into those. We got The Peacekeepers. This is a really fun mystery crime book so if you enjoy those type of series is definitely one to read I really love the art style for this I also love the vibe so go check that one out it's also been a book that's been on Kickstarter for a while then we have Bombshell and Atomica so this uh, this one definitely is very close to me because I wrote it I co-wrote it with Phil and this is our superhero erotica book that we teamed up with Bad Bug they asked us to do a book we did a work for hire and it's fun it's 1950s it's everything I really enjoy about superheroes uh, with a sexy twist Moving on to the Witch Creek Road. This is actually written by our previous letter of Slice of Life, Garth, who's done a wonderful webtoon with Witch Creek Road and has continued that journey through Kickstarter. So go check out his webtoon. It's a, it's a really cool horror book uh, if you like a high school angle as well. And the artwork is just so splendid and haunting for this book as well. And again, I'm really glad that we're seeing not just the book continue, but get to see it continue in different story arcs. Last but not least is Crossover Divisions 1 through 5. If you like literature and comic books meeting, this is the perfect book for you. You get to see different literary characters combine in this wonderful comic book medium, so go check that one out as well. Now, let's jump into the top 10. Number 10 for me is Impossible Jones, Volume 2. So this is a collection of Impossible Jones. It's also a kind of long-running Kickstarter book by Carl, who's who's been in the in the game for a very long time. So it's really cool to see him utilize Kickstarter and his audience just so well with this franchise. If you're a fan of like the Harley Quinn angle of, of superheroes and humor, go check this out. It's a really fun indie comic superhero book uh, with a lot of really cool cartoony action as well. Moving on to speaking of DC Comics, Phantasma, this is actually written by Jimmy Palmiotti, who's obviously had a very long running career at DC and is now making his very big wave in indie comics and uh, is a huge voice on Kickstarter with uh, with paper films. And, and this is just a continuation of that. And what I really like about everything that Jimmy has been doing is a, he, he does a really good job at producing graphic novels, which you don't get to see very often on Kickstarter. And I, I like to see that. And I, I like to see the different genres that you could instill in action, not just superheroes, but we, we get to see this actually being like a jungle action book, which uh, I have not really seen on Kickstarter before. And, uh, you know, it just like had a very cool vibe to it. And, you know, Jimmy's always gonna put out very uh, prestigious work. So moving on to number eight, which is Ronin of O'Kane. This is cool because you get to see two different, very different genres combined with the classicness of Ronin heroes and our cyberpunk Japan landscape. And the artwork is just really, really crisp for this one. The thumbnail in particular, I thought was very striking is again, you have this cyberpunk look, but then you have the Ronin in the reflection. And I thought that was very striking. So that is number eight for me. Moving on to number seven, I believe this has been on my list before. And that is the fox came from the woods. Something I really like about this book, obviously the premise of this person getting powers after a car crash and there's some drama with family, but I really love the, the manga look of it. It's really unique to Kickstarter in general. There's not a whole lot of mangas on there. So already you have that perspective. Uh, and, and it's still feeling like an American comic which I thought was cool too so kind of the mishmash of both is is an interesting concept moving on to number six which is harpy of the west this is a completed graphic novel as well which is always fun to see on kickstarter and it's a western by one of my favorite artists rio uh, you know I love their artwork so much I, I think they really have a crisp clean look especially their colors through uh, covers I, I've seen a lot of and I, I'm just always think it's jaw dropping and it's really cool to see Again, someone I, I've noticed more as a cover artist uh, doing interiors and, and doing a book like this and, and just seeing that awe on every page, you know, with a with a Western spin. And then on to number five. This one's just a really fun concept. And that's Foe's issue one. So it's a demon versus an alien and they're just trying to fight for a donut. And I'm like, this is such a fun book that only comics can do. It's a, I love seeing this very juxtaposition of you know, aliens and demons, do they go together? And then the comedic balance of fighting for a donut that just feels so 
Sunday newspaper strip comic books that I, I, I really love seeing the variety on with Kickstarters. Uh, moving on another fun premise here, and this is number four, Slices of Life, A World Without Pizza. As a New Yorker and someone who loves pizza, this is one that strikes my heart here. And I, I think it's such a fun concept for that very sake of someone always has an opinion on pizza. Most people really, really like it, and the crazy people that don't, uh, or I guess the lactose intolerant people that don't, you know, have obviously a reason not to. And, it, you know, everyone just has strong opinions on pizza. So to have an anthology just based on it, and obviously there's different types of pizza too, like where does this go? I do think they just focus on New York pizza here, but it's just a fun out of the box anthology idea that I think we need more in the anthology game. Moving on to number three, which is, of course, you got Lady Death. Lady Death always comes up with some wonderful projects. And the reason I put that this here is it looks like this is also a culmination of what Lady Death has been doing with a crossover event that, again, is very known for Marvel and DC and the direct market, but to see it through Kickstarter is really, really cool. How does Kickstarter as a medium do a crossover big event or a culmination of a lot of story going into one issue and i think if anyone can do it it's lady death moving on to number two which is a haunted tower this is a all ages pick your own adventure book which i i always find to be fun to see how exactly you do it but i thought the the thumbnail is what really really struck me i really like the coloring for it and again the concept's kind of fun you know i like a good thing out of your out of the box thing and choose your choose your own adventures are already a very complicated thing to do so to put your power into that and, and make it fun and, and poppy and jazzy that's all i could personally acts for, so that's number two for me. Moving on to number one, which is back then, a very different queer comic anthology. Again, this is an anthology that really thinks outside the box. There's been plenty of queer anthologies on Kickstarter, but here we're seeing the point of view of the queer story 50 years ago, which obviously looks a lot different than it does in 2024. And to see, you know, how those stories uh, are, are. And then also I believe this is from... I know it's a different country. I, I don't remember which country it is, but to see a perspective on not just the American perspective, but a whole nother country's perspective on queerness 50 years ago, I think is really interesting too. Uh, so I just thought this was a really cool concept, which is why I put it on, and an important concept, which is why I put it on uh, my number one spot. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite comics were. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you guys next month for another top 10 Kickstarters. And here, is another chance to go check out my Kickstarter, Nightmare in Wonderland. There's a QR code, so you can also scan it on your phone if you're watching on your TV or your, la or your laptop. It's an easy way to get to the Kickstarter. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.